What is up, weather enthusiasts? I'm your host, Pat's Path Predictor. Let's get right into the weather. All right, so here's the situation we have for you, ladies and gentlemen. Currently, Tropical Storm Franklin is over the Dominican Republic, leaving flash flooding as we speak. We have Tropical Depression Herald, or the remnants of Herald, over there in West Texas. And now we have the remnants of Emily that are about to reorganize and re-strengthen back to its former glory. We have this one right here, which has been attacked AL07, which basically, which is the remnants of Emily, a tropical storm Emily, it continues, continues to produce a large area of disorganized showers and thunderstorms. 70% chance of formation in the next seven days, 50% chance in the next 48 hours. So those chances continue to increase as time continues to go on. And we also have Franklin right here. And as we go ahead and look at the long range forecast with this, as you can see right here, um, it is expected to move off the Dominican Republic later today if it hasn't already, and then it's expected to kind of stay somewhat stationary across parts of the Atlantic Basin right here, and it is expected to strengthen into a hurricane by Saturday, according to the National Hurricane Center, and it is expected to continue strengthening if we go ahead and show you the forecast advisory from the, late, uh, from the latest. We're looking at six, uh, 65, then we're looking at 80, and then 90 knots, which would make this around a Category 2 hurricane by Base by Monday right here. So this is an interesting situation that's playing out. This is something we absolutely need to monitor, especially if the models continue to trend it more towards the uh, more towards the uh, the west, uh, potentially impact uh, areas around like the Carolinas and Virginia. So we'll have to pay attention on that front. But I'm, what I'm also paying attention to is something else that I'm noticing: the Central American Dryer, and we've had eight named systems already. Where our, our I named storm is about to come up. And we all know about the eye curse. We've seen the, a bunch of eye named storms become very strong hurricanes and get really, uh, really intense and cause a lot of destruction. Even in the last two decades, we've seen a lot. We've seen Ivan. We've seen Ike. We've seen Irene. We've seen Isaac in 2012. We've seen uh, in the last five years or so. We've seen Irma. We've seen Ian. We've seen Ida. We've seen Isaias. So there's a lot of stuff we need to cover with this going forward. And we're going to go ahead and start by pulling up some runs we have right here. The Europe, we're going to pull up the latest from the European, the Icon, CMC, Navgem, and kind of give you an idea first on how strong Franklin could potentially get. And then second, how uh, where this system may start developing. And indications point to potentially developing either in the Western Caribbean or in the Eastern Gulf of Mexico and either impacting Cuba or Florida right here. So we'll have to pay attention to it on that front. So here's the situation we have for the European as soon as the as Franklin gets off the uh, off the, the Dominican Republic, it is expected to start reorganizing and restrengthening as time continues to go on. It's not going to really move around that much, and it, it, we are indicating some potential hurricane strength as early as three days out or so. So we'll have to pay attention to that uh, to that over here. And then the European really starts to really ramp this up in intensity as time continues to go on. It gets down to a 967 millibar system by a six days out right here, so, which could be indicative of a Category Two system right here so we'll have to pay attention to that and the nhc is calling for at least a category two hurricane in the next five days so it's definitely something to pay attention to the european is having a little bit of trouble picking up on that gyre when this may develop in the zero z right here but other models have picked up on it for sure first one we're showing you is the cmc Here's the latest we have from the CMC. We're going to go ahead and show you the 0Z first to kind of give you a better understanding and see where this is coming from and all of that stuff. So the CMC has this thing organizing and developing quickly, at least Franklin. And then here's the gyre that starts to organize. The CMC actually has this thing uh, making landfall in Cuba as a Category 1 hurricane before strengthening even further, potentially making landfall south of the Tampa Bay area as around a ca uh, low-end Category 2 hurricane before it parallels the coast of the Carolinas and then drifts out to sea right there. So that's what's interesting right there with the CMC, and this is something we'll have to pay attention to. And if we go ahead and show you the 12Z, the 12Z is some showing something similar, except it has it hitting the Yucatan Peninsula and then heading towards Florida as maybe a Category 1 hurricane hurricane depending on how quickly it goes and how quickly it organizes and how much time it has over water because if it sp spends enough time over the 30 plus degree celsius waters and it stays spends enough time in the loop current rather excuse me 
definitely things could really blow up really fast. We've seen a lot of systems move on to loop current and really take advantage of the warm water and the high ocean heat content. So we'll have to pay attention to that as time continues to go on. And that's just the CMC right there. Next one we're going to go ahead and show you is the nav gem because even that's uh, even that's starting to pick up on it just a little bit. Here's what we have with Franklin right here. It's expected to strengthen up into a hurricane in the next few days. It is expected to intensify down to a 954 millibar hurricane off the uh, pretty much in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean right here. And that's indicative of around major hurricane strength. And that's one of the more aggressive models we've seen so far. So definitely something to keep an eye out right here. 955 from the 6Z. So definitely something to monitor for sure. And lastly, we'll show you the icon. Here's the 12Z icon that we have pulled up. The icon definitely has this giant are developing and organizing, but all these runs d uh, indicate that this may be impacting mainly basically somewhere on the west coast of Florida. We're not 100% sure. Yesterday we were seeing runs of the Florida Panhandle getting impacted. Now we're seeing the any anywhere from Tampa Bay down towards Naples. So certainly something to keep an eye on as time continues to go on. So we'll have to keep you updated here on the Pat's Path Predictor channel. We're going to go ahead and next show you some of the things that are really that may kind of hinder it. We'll have to show you the shear forecast right here from the European. And here's the shear forecast. For Franklin, at least, the shear really starts to weaken as this thing just starts to get str uh, to strengthen into a hurricane. And basically what you see here is a bunch of outflow right here. So definitely something to monitor. And we do see some wind shear for the next couple of days in the eastern Gulf of Mexico, which could hinder development. However, by the time it gets into the Gulf, about six days out, the shear does weaken enough for some potential development. So we'll have to pay attention to that as time continues to go on. But we'll also have to cross-check this with the relative humidity, especially with Franklin, and then this potential, uh, potential I-named system we have going on. Now, dry air could potentially get in the way of Franklin early on right here. However, as time continues to go on, it starts to battle that dry air. And th by the time we get down to like five days out, it shouldn't have too much of an issue. Although there is some indication that there, some moderately dry air may try to wrap around the system. So we'll have to monitor that as time continues to go on. But yeah, this is an interesting situation that's really starting to bubble up and as time continues to go on. There is also some dry air in the Gulf of Mexico where this potential development may happen. So we'll have to play it by ear and see what happens as time continues to go on. Last thing we're showing you is some ensemble runs, the European ensemble right here. And here's the ensemble runs, at least with Franklin and then this I named system right here. Because the I named system potentially with the gyre has been really been picked up on by the European, and at least with Franklin, we're seeing a lot of stuff lighting up and a lot of like almost unanimous hurricane scenarios from all of this. So definitely something to monitor for sure. And then here's our new system we have right here. Some of these these ensembles do have it impacting somewhere on the Gulf Coast uh, from Louisiana all the way to Florida. However, I would rule out anything anything west really of out the Mississippi-Alabama border because there's some dry air, there's some wind shear that's impacting the area. But anywhere from Alabama down to the Florida uh, Keys, there's certainly a situation where I could see that as there's less wind shear, there's a little bit less dry air. So depending on how the storm uh, goes and how it, if it can push all that dry air out, we'll have to wait and see what happens on that front. But we'll keep you updated here on the Pat's Path Predictor channel. We're closing the video out right here. I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you are new. It helps us out, helps us make more videos like these. The goal of this channel is to get more people engaged with weather. But with that being said, have a wonderful day, guys. Stay safe.